Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Today we're going to learn about vertebrates. After you watch today's program, be sure to catch my other episodes where you can do a fun vertebrae sort and you can learn about invertebrates and do a vertebrate versus invertebrate sort. Let's get started. Vertebrates are animals that have backbones. Take your hand and touch your back right in the middle and you can feel your backbone. Humans are considered vertebrates. There are five kinds of vertebrates. Repeat after me. Mammals, and here you can see my doggies, Fifi and Kibli. They are considered mammals. Fish, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. Most vertebrates have other bones in their bodies besides their spine. They also have a skull. Can you touch your skull? Do you feel that hard bone that surrounds your brain? That's your skull. The skull protects your brain. Humans have big brains, so we have big skulls compared to other vertebrates. Most vertebrates have eyes on their head. Some vertebrates have eyes at the front of their heads, while others have eyes on the sides of their heads. Vertebrates also have muscles and joints to help them move their bodies. Let's go over each category of vertebrates. Mammals are vertebrates that have fur or hair on their bodies. Mammals can be big like humans or elephants, or tiny like a mouse. Most mammals either walk on two legs or four legs. Let's look at my dog Fifi. How many legs does she walk on? Okay, now let's look at humans. How many legs do we move on? Well, if we're toddlers, we move on four limbs, two arms and hands, and two legs. But if we're adults, we walk on two legs. Some mammals walk some hop, and some run, swim, or climb. Besides having a backbone and fur, mammals have other things in common. A mammal also breathes air and drinks a mother's milk when it's a baby. Let's talk about fish. Fish are vertebrate because they have a backbone. However, they're different than mammals because they live in water. Fish move through the water using the fins on their backs and sides. A fish's tail is also a fin. Fish move their tails from side to side when they swim. Their skeletons are made of cartilage. Cartilage bends while bones do not. Sharks also have skeletons made of cartilage. Cartilage helps sharks swim very fast. Fish are also different than mammals because they don't breathe air. Instead, they use their gills to get oxygen from the water. Reptiles, like snakes and lizards, are also vertebrates. Snakes have no legs and use their muscles to slither on the ground. Crocodiles and alligators are also reptiles. They have four legs with webbed feet for swimming. Crocodiles and alligators live on land and in the water. They use their tails for swimming. Some reptiles have shells like turtles and tortoises. Turtles have backbones and skeletons inside their bodies. The shell offers the turtle protection against predators. They have legs and live on land. The sea turtle, on the other hand, has flippers instead of legs and lives in the water. Birds walk on two legs and most birds fly with their wings. Birds have very light hollow bones so that they are able to fly. They have feathers instead of fur or hair on their scales, and the beaks of birds are all different depending on what they eat. But not all birds catch their food with their beaks. Some use their strong claws. Birds that use their claws to catch food are called raptors. Not all birds fly. Ostriches are too heavy to fly, and penguins cannot fly. Instead, they have wings like flippers 
so they can swim in the ocean. Amphibians are the fifth group of vertebrates. They live on water and land. Frogs, toads, and salamanders are some of the examples of amphibians. Mud puppies and salamanders have tails, while frogs and toads do not. Amphibians lay their eggs in water, and the babies start off in water, but can live on land as adults. Now that you know what a vertebrate is, you can watch my lesson on categorizing the different groups of vertebrates, and then move on to watching my lesson on invertebrates, and you can sort the vertebrates and invertebrates. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.